Oh, sure. Okay, yeah, I'll read it off. Sure, no problem. What's up, everybody? Thank you for tuning in. We have Cameron Ralston on the bass, Kelly Strawbridge on the drums. We're so happy to be here at the front porch to play uh, for this concert that was sponsored by the Charlottesville Jazz Society and other donors. If you'd like to donate to support this series, you can either follow the link in the text of the stream or uh, send a Venmo to Front Porch Seville. And, uh, and this, this concert will also be rebroadcast on Friday at 8 p.m. Um, but now we're going to get to the music. This is a song that uh, is, uh, I thought that Sonny Rollins maybe would have recorded. Sonny Rollins is a great tenor sax player, is one of my favorites, and a great influence on me. And this is something that I think, a song, like a standard by Hoagy Carmichael, that I thought that Sonny might have recorded, but he never did, but it's one that he would have liked, I think. And this is called In the Cool, Cool, Cool of the Evening by Hoagy Carmichael. <clears throat>
Okay, we're working for you. <laughs> Plus you glass onion. Yeah, the next tune we're gonna do is a Beatles tune. Everybody covers the Beatles all the time, which is great. I mean, it's obvious why they do. All the songs are so good. <clears throat> but I was looking for a Beatles tune that we could cover that, I don't hear a lot of people cover this one. But um, we have a video of this song, this exact trio, on my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash Charles Owens. And uh, go subscribe to my YouTube channel, please. There's a ton of great videos up there, including a video that we made recently at the Camel uh, with just us three. And we played this song, and it's, it's on there. And it's a, it's a good take. It's one of, one of a really good video. Uh, and so this is called Glass Onion. It's from the White Album, Beatles. <clears throat> Way. <laughs> 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 Why are you? Why are you? Why are you? 
everybody. You guys, if you could only see all the, 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 the happy eyes I'm looking yeah. at right now. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, yeah, Glass Onion by the Beatles, uh, featuring Kelly Strawbridge on those drums. <clears throat> that man is amazing. Cameron Ralston taking an amazing bass solo on there. Cool. Well, we're going to keep going. How are we doing on time? All right. Great. Just looking at my set list here, you guys. While we're picking to the next tune, I want to say that this is brought to you by the Charlottesville Jazz Society. Thank you so much for Charlottesville Jazz Society. Uh, back in 2016, they bestowed upon me the Educator of the Year Award, which was a huge honor for me. It was the first award that I'd received in the musical field for anything. <laughs> and, uh, uh, and it was a beautiful day. I still have it prominently displayed in my office, and I always will. And since I've been here in Charlottesville, since I moved here from New York City in 2004, <clears throat> the Charlottesville Jazz Society has been behind me 100% and is a huge uh, part of why I'm a successful saxophone player and has taken a big role in the advancement of my career. And so thank you to Gary and everyone involved in the Charlottesville Jazz Society. That's all right. She's listening to a little Charles Owens playback. We can't get mad at that. <clears throat> I'd, recog I'd recognize that tone. <laughs> um, uh, shout out to uh, Emily Morrison and Front Porch and Julia Kresge and all the great staff here. Um, shout out to, to my home man, my homeboy right here giving me this bubbly. <laughs> Got the, uh... Cool. So this is really fun. Are you guys having a good time? Yeah, yeah, this is amazing. Really appreciate it. So if you'd like to donate to support the series, you can follow the link in the text, uh, uh, in the text portion of the stream. Or you can uh, Venmo Front Porch Seville. Um, there's, you know, there's been donors here that have gotten us paid already, and we're really happy that that's happened. And um, so we're going to continue now. I think what we're going to do lately, I've uh, uh, I, I've been playing songs from my childhood. Um, this song that we're about to play is called "Breakfast in America" by Supertramp, and um, I made, uh, yeah. yeah it's, great song and uh, I made a record with Kelly St Kelly Strawbridge was playing drums on in 2017 called As One. The Charles Owens Quartet As One, Kelly Strawbridge on drums, Devon Harris on electric piano and Andrew Randazzo on bass and um, that album is a, a lot of the songs on that album are from my childhood and from my youth helped me get through tough times you know um, and this song is uh, from 1976 so I've been four years old and, you know, we used to get together on Saturdays and clean the house, and they put on the radio, and this is always on the radio. And so, like, this song is kind of in my blood. We were talking about before, like, I don't need it to write a chart out for these things at all, because it's just like I've been singing them and hearing them since I was a baby, literally. Um, but anyway, yeah, Breakfast in America. We hope you like it.
Boy, I can do that. I can do that. I can do that. <laughs> it was cool. It was, yeah. cool. it was cool. We knew. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's all right. It was good. It was killing if you like that kind of thing. It was fun. <laughs> if you like being killing, you know, if you like being great. Whew. Boy, this feels great. This is awesome. So yeah, it sounds great in here. Thanks again, the front porch. Um, everybody just take whatever Venmo you have uh, that's in your account right now and just send it to the front porch Seville. Don't even look at the balance. Just <laughs> send it on through. Usually if I'm on a gig, if I'm on a gig and there's a tip jar, I tell everybody, um, just take all the money you have in your pockets and just leave it in the tip jar. And uh, I did that in Richmond one time, and some people looked at me like, are you to rob us right now? And I was like, I should really, I should really be careful about that. I'm just kidding. This is the point of the show. It's more of a Charlottesville type of joke. Because yeah. <laughs> everyone's just like, ha, I'm not going to give you my $50,000. It's in my pocket. Yeah, I'm just kidding, you guys. Um, yeah, let's do Nature Boy. Yeah, we're going to do a song now that uh, is a ballad written by this uh, gentleman named Eden Abez. And he, uh, it's called Nature Boy, and it was a really big hit for a, a few different very well-known vocalists, first of which is uh, Nat King Cole. He had a great version of it, and, um, and that was probably the best-known version. Um, Frank Sinatra had a version, but the Nat King Cole version, uh, he was the first one to record it, and Eden Abez was a really interesting guy. You guys should Google him, but basically he was the first hippie. Uh, or he spearheaded the hippie movement in the 50s, and he used to live in a tent behind the uh, Hollywood sign in Los Angeles, 
and come down and write a hit tune and make a lot of money and then go back up and live on the mountain there. And that's not, um, that's not a lie. That's not a story. That's real. <laughs> this is how this guy used to operate. Um, and, uh, you know, this song, Nature Boy, is certainly about him because if you just, I mean, all you got to do is Google him and he looks like a nature boy, I can tell you. Um, so anyway, uh, uh, this soon has also been recorded by some of my idols like John Coltrane. And um, it's a beautiful song. And we're going to have a nice uh, word version of it tonight. So I really want to thank um, Cameron and Kelly for being here and playing so great. Thank you guys so much. Uh, so this is Nature Boy.
Everybody, yeah, that was Nature Boy. Ah, Sweaty Boy. <laughs> All right, how are we doing? Oh, we got plenty of time. Much more music to come for you guys. Uh, let's see. Let's do that, Todd Rundgren. Yeah. 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 So uh, we're going to play a song that uh, is also another song, like a radio staple from the '70s. Uh, and uh, it was written by a guy who was really a pioneer in a lot of ways in the music industry and in the music recording business. His name is Todd Rundgren. He wrote the song called I Saw the Light. And uh, what was another really famous one he did? Uh, Hello, It's Me. Oh, yeah, Hello, It's Me, a really good song. Thank you. Kelly, any question that you have about music, Kelly just got the answer. Cool. Kelly is a professor of all types of different types of music. That's what I'm doing, yeah, and he's got the knowledge man's done the research. <laughs> Boy, listen to records. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is Todd Rundgren. Um, I recorded a, uh, um, a trio record in July with uh, my other, uh, another uh, version of this trio, Devon Harris and Andrew Randazzo, uh, and that's going to come out in March, and we did a version of this. Um, um, it's called I Saw the Light. We hope you like it. Every other form is a chromatic changes. Would you do some tune mapping? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Thank you. 
Uh, yeah, I saw the light. There's uh, so many great songs from the 70s. Um, so many great songs by just that dude alone. It's incredible. So much good stuff to cover. Um, I played, I started playing with Kelly. We were talking about this before, like 2013, mm -hmm. 2013. Mm -hmm. I was on a gig at this place in Richmond called the Mekong, uh, the Mekong Restaurant. Restaurant. And then the, the band is called Mekong Express. And they, they moved on to a restaurant that was right next door that the owners bought and it was great. It was like out of stage, but this was right in the restaurant and we played three hours straight. <laughs> and I was like, this is how we do it in Richmond, huh? They just play three hours straight with no breaks. It's not really how they do it actually. It was just, that was my first gig with him. And he was playing and he was singing while playing the drums. And then he called me up a year later. He's like, you wanna play in this band? It's called The Big Payback. And uh, I was like, sure. And he's like, I, and he's a singer. And he's, it's a big, it's a James Brown tribute band. It's, it, it would be not enough to call that band a cover band because it's not. Because Kelly doesn't just cover the songs. <laughs> he gets up and he's an amazing front man. Sings the songs, does the splits in front of the crowd. Everyone's just like, ah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, ever since I met Kelly, I just knew I wanted to always be around him. And I wanted to uh, play music with him. I, play, I took him about five years ago now to Small Jazz Club in New York. And it was like everyone wanted to be around him. He had this magnetism where everyone was just like, who is this dude? Who just want to talk to him? I just want to be around him. He's got this energy about him. And so love you, Kelly. Cameron, you're not bad yourself, man. I'm comfortable with that. Yeah. Seriously, like, who would you, why would you want to try? I'm not even trying. We're talking about, we're talking about they made the mold and then broke it. That's my man right there. All right, let's keep going. Uh, let me look at my set list here. Plow through. You want to play that cold train? It is the Jazz Society after all. Okay. Yeah, we'll play that. 1186. You got that, Cam? Or? Yeah. It's on PDF. It's on the PDF one. So this one is a, a, a song that, um, but is by John Coltrane, and you know. Anybody that plays this music, especially anyone that plays tenor saxophone in this music, uh, is, has been influenced by John Coltrane. And of course, uh, he influenced my young life to a huge degree. As soon as I became acquainted with his music, it was the thing that actually made me decide to become a, a, a jazz musician or a black American music musician. And um, it was uh, actually, I got a tape of Giant Steps on one side and Kind of Blue on the other from my friend. I was 15. I brought it home and I heard Giant Steps first. And it was amazing that the song that really got me though was Spiral, you know, mm -hmm. Spiral. And, not, and so everyone knows Countdown and Giant Steps and Naima and, and you know, those are like the really famous songs that have album. But if you listen to his tone on Spiral, it was like, it hit me so hard. And I thought, man, if like I play saxophone, I play tenor saxophone, he plays tenor saxophone, there's a chance that I might be able to express myself on some level like that halfway, a quarter of the way. And it just made me want to be like, a jazz tenor saxophone player, you know, and like, uh, and so uh, when I graduated high school, I went to the new school because I wanted to be around Reggie Workman, who went on tour with Coltrane and Eric Dolphy as a quintet in Europe in 61. And, you know, I had written, I had written, I had read at least four books on Coltrane by the time I got to college, and, you know, he shaped my whole life. So we're going to um, play a tune by him that is called Untitled Original 11386, and it came out a few years ago on this thing called The Lost Album, where um, uh, he was recording a ton of music in around 1962 and 1963. As a matter of fact, the day al after this album was recorded, they recorded the Ballads album, and then also the, uh, the Johnny Hartman album, mm -hmm. all in that same week. And so those were huge records for Coltrane, and this record that he recorded that was like a quartet slash trio sort of record was just kind of forgotten about because like they were all ready to like put out the Johnny Hartman and the ballads record, you know? Um, and so, but then they found this and released it. And this is a song off of it called um, Untitled Original 11386 by John Coltrane. We hope you like it. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you, everybody. Thank you, you guys out here. Thank you to this great staff. There's some people standing out the window. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, yeah, we can do one more if that's it. If you think we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna do one more quick one. I think I got the one in mind. Let's, um, let's do, I'll, I'll, I'll bring it up. No. Um, speaking of songs from my childhood, The Muppet Show, Kermit the Frog, anybody? <laughs> yeah. Anybody? <laughs> childhood, yes. So uh, we're going to play, it's time to set the music. No, we're not going to play the Muppet Show team. Uh, we could, though. That would be bad. That, would be, that, would, that song is swinging. <laughs> but <laughs> Kelly's like, hey, man, count it off. I just hit stuff. <laughs> no, we're going <laughs> to play a quick one uh, uh, for you. This is called The Rainbow Connection. Yeah, by Kermit. Choruses and then solos. Cool. I'll play the head in two octaves. That'd be it. Right on it. Uh, I'm gonna do a, like a, a little intro, like you know, the, the banjo intro. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Front Porch. Um, don't forget to uh, donate to the Front Porch Seville on Venmo. You can use the link that's in the broadcast, uh, text part of the broadcast. And uh, we hope to be back at the Front Porch again very soon. Thanks, y'all. Thank you. Yeah. Kelly Strawberry.